Hey, Bruce Naylor here. How are you? Um, I was talking to the wife the other day about, you know, vlogging and how popular it all is on uh, YouTube. And a lot of people are trying to get cinematic quality videos out there. And, you know, uh, and I had told her I had three reasons why I really didn't vlog. Number one is, you know, we live in a small town. So if you walk around with a camera during the daytime, uh, neighbors are going to, you know, stop you and wonder what you're doing. They're very suspicious. Number two, you can't really take your camera in any of these establishments around here because, well, refer to reason number one. The third reason is when I do have time, it's generally going to be in the daytime, particularly weekends mostly. But here's the problem. Um, and I use this Canon T6i and it's got a 10 to 18 millimeter lens on there, ultra wide, which is nice because you get, you know, all this, uh, all this stuff in the field of view. But the problem is when it's really sunny out, uh, then you have a bit of a problem because you will get really, uh, you're really fighting things like ISO aperture and shutter speed in bright, bright conditions. And it's not conducive to that cinematic look that so many people try to get, you know, shooting at 24 frames a second and then setting their shutter speed to, you know, 50, something like that. And, uh, and especially if you put the ISO on 100, you walk out with your camera like that, you, well, you're going to get some seriously overexposed footage. And that's why I went ahead and bought one of these. And this is the Tiffin Variable ND Filter. Now, I did a lot of research on ND filters. For the longest time, I didn't think I needed one. Uh, and it's probably something I won't use very often, but I'm going to be glad I, I did. And if you are a, a vlogger, if you are doing a lot of videography, out uh, in the daytime especially bright sunlight this is going to be a very worthy worthy investment so when you open up the package um, the first thing you're going to see is a getting started guide and i highly highly recommend that this one you read okay read this one next you're going to get uh, you're going to get the case it's in a leather case with a velcro you know snap to kind of keep it shut and then finally, the ND filter itself. It's got markings on there from two to eight stops. However, there is continuous. There's no clicking on there to let you know which one you're at. And that's a bit of a bummer on there, but it is what it is. I took it outside, the, uh, the T6i, and I shot a little bit of, just a brief amount of footage to show you what it looks like when you go through the various adjustments on the neutral density filter and you can see that it goes you know light to dark uh, very very quickly it's really like putting sunglasses on your camera and then the next shot I went ahead and uh, shot entirely with the ND filter on and I've got to learn how this thing works but I'm getting a general idea on when to use it and how to use it so it'll take some experimentation the bottom line with the neutral density filter you can get either individual filters uh, of a particular stop or you can get a variable. And with the variables, um, it saves you on carrying around multiple filters. You slap it on your, on your lens uh, in the daytime and then make your adjustments on the fly. But I just want to share this with you and say, look, this is an essential thing to have in your toolkit, especially when you're doing video. You don't want to be chasing that shutter speed aperture or ISO when you're trying to create content. Just a few minor adjustments of the ND filter and it'll have you covered. And for under a hundred bucks, um, these are the way to go. And you can get step down rings uh, so you can get one filter and adjust it to other lenses as well. That's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Bruce Naylor, take care.